My name is Deacon Aaron Huber. I am a seminarian for the Diocese of Charlotte, about to be ordained a priest on Saturday, June 18th. I moved up to the Diocese of Charlotte when I was about six years old. Uh, I'm one of nine kids, but big family. We lived on top of a mountain, so we had plenty of places to, to run and hide and, and run barefoot through the woods, which is great. Um, the parish that I grew up in was St. John the Evangelist in Waynesville. Um, I was there since I was six years old and, and still there to this day. Uh, it was a great place to be raised. Um, small, close mountain community uh, with, with some great priests over the years. And um, it was it was actually slightly before moving up to North Carolina when I thought about the priesthood. I was uh, I was four or five years old in Charleston, South Carolina, where I was born. And uh, me and my friend, actually, we both wanted to be Pope. We had some aspirations that have since changed. And uh, since, since I was slightly older, I was going to be Pope first, and then when I died, he could become Pope. Um, yeah, so that was the, that's the first memory I have of actually thinking about the priesthood. So it kind of fell in, in the background, and I hadn't thought about it in a long time until uh, high school. And the head of youth ministry for the diocese, Paul Golowski at the time, said, in the world, there's a crisis of identity and purpose. Everyone is wondering what the, what the meaning of life is. And as Catholics, we know to know, love, and serve God in this world and be happy with Him in the next, to bring as many people with Him as we can. And I'd heard those words so many times, but for some reason at that moment, it hit me, it struck my heart, and it gave new life to the words. And, uh, and so from that moment, I was like, this is what the meaning of life is, and this is what I want to do with my life. And from that moment on, I, I began to pick up the Liturgy of the Hours in high school, and I was going to a daily Mass. And, and part of my prayer was, Lord, I just, want to, I just want to walk with you to Calvary and die with you on the cross so that I can rise with you to glory. And at Mass, that's what the priest does every day. And when, when, when I saw that, I was, I was certain that this is what the Lord wanted me to do. This is what I wanted to do. And this is how uh, the Lord is going to, to sanctify me and, and those around me. So I went to Belmont Abbey as a regular student for two years. I remember going up to Father Kalf one day after a class that I was taking with him. And I just said, Father, I, I want to be a priest. And he was just like, Okay, well, it just so happens that we're working on this new project. When St. Joseph started, it was my first year of seminary, and we used a house behind St. Anne, which used to be a convent, which housed some of the poor clares from Hansville, Alabama. So my first two years, and actually my only two years at St. Joseph's, I lived in that little house. Um, and it was, it was amazing. So just a few guys and, and a couple of priests and, and a lot of love for the Lord and a lot of blessings from the Lord because of the way it kind of started and the way it's been running. It's, it's clearly been blessed and we're all just incredibly grateful. And so being here right now in this, in this chapel at, at St. Joseph College Seminary with its own land, its own building and, and a full house, you know, it's, it's beautiful for me to reflect on my time here and it's amazing to see all the good things that are continuing to happen. One of the things that I'm really looking forward to is just every day being able to wake up and rededicate my life to Christ as his priest. And what that means, not just for me, but for the church and, and, and the glory of, that we can give God uh, in the sacrifice of the Mass and, and in the prayers and work that we do. I'm very looking forward to that.